Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about simplifying exponential expressions. So look at number one here, we have a negative exponent. Whenever you have a negative exponent, you can make it positive by just putting it in a denominator. So we have 2 over x squared is the simplified answer. For number 2, focus on the constants 2 over 8. That's just going to become 1 over 4. Think of reducing the fraction. And then negative 3 is an exponent on top. Negative 5 is an exponent on the bottom. Subtract them. Negative 3 minus negative 5 gives us an x to the positive 2 in the numerator. And we're going to subtract again the exponents for the y's. 5 minus negative 2, y to the 7th. So we just have 1x squared, y to the 7th. You do not have to write the 1. Let's look at a couple more examples, 3 and 4 here. For number 3, everything inside the parentheses gets squared first. So we're going to have 4x squared in the numerator. We're going to have 25g to the 4th in the denominator. And that is pretty much it. The Nothing else simplifies top or bottom, so we just have 4x squared in the numerator, 25g to the fourth in the denominator. Uh, for number 4, um, notice the negative 2 exponent. First thing we want to do is flip everything. 12a x to the sixth for the numerator, and 3a to the third x to the fourth in the denominator. And the reason we flip it is to change the sign on the outside exponent. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is leave the exponent alone on the out, outside, but we'll work on simplifying the inside. Now we got 12 over 3, which becomes a 4. We got a to the 1 on top, a to the 3rd on the bottom. We could make a to the negative 2 in the top. But if we go ahead and put the a squared on the bottom, that'll take care of our exponent. And then we have x to the 6th and x to the 4th simplifies to x to the 2nd because I got 6 minus 4 to give us that. Now I'm going to work on squaring everything on the inside. 16x to the 4th, a to the 4th. That's our simplified answer. Let's look at a few more. Numbers 5 and 6 here. Number 5, we have a 2x squared y to the 4th on the top. That's being raised to the 3rd. A negative x to the 3rd, y to the 3rd, all being raised to the 2nd power in the denominator. Let's take care of the numerator and denominator separately. 2 to the 3rd is 8. x squared to the 3rd becomes x to the 6th because you multiply the exponents when you're taking a power of a power. And then we'll have y to the 12th to finish off the numerator. On the bottom, a negative squared is a positive, so we are going to have a positive x, positive x to the 6th, and positive y to the 6th as well. Power of a power there as well. We just have an 8 to deal with still. The x6 over x to the 6th cancels out. y to the 12th, y to the 6th. We're just left with y to the 6th over 1, and you don't even have to write over 1. You can just say 8y to the 6 is a final answer. For number 6, everything gets raised to the 4th power. Uh, 2 to the 4th power is 16. x squared to the 4th power becomes x to the 8th. Multiply the exponents. Well, then we have y to the 12th. That takes care of number 6. All right, got a couple more here, 7 and 8. For number 7, uh, let's take care of, well, here's what we can do. We can flip around the numerator and denominator. This will become 2x squared to the positive 2 and x to the 6 positive for the bottom. Let's square the numerator, 4x to the 4th, still over x to the 6th. And you could turn this 4x to the negative 2 if you want to do that. You couldn't have 4 minus 6. However, it's going to be 4 over x squared.
All right, number eight. Now notice what we have, two to the zero power, x to the third, y to the seventh, 18x, y to the eighth. Anything to the zeros just becomes one. So the only thing we really have here is one over 18. We'll have an x squared on the top, number three minus one. We'll have a y by itself on the bottom, seven y's on the top, cancel with seven on the bottom, leaving us with y to the eighth. You can also think of that as y to the negative one in the numerator but then make it positive and put it in the denominator. Simplify this answer a little bit more, x squared over 18y for a final answer. One more here to show you. Number nine, 16, x to the negative two, y to the third, z, over two x, y to the negative two, z to the second. Take care of the numbers first, 16 and two, that becomes an eight x to the negative 2, x to the 1, negative 2 minus 1, x to the negative 3. The y, if I take 3 and subtract negative 2, I get positive 5. And then I'm going to have z, 1 minus 2 is a negative 1. All right, let's put all those negative exponents in the denominator, and they become positive exponents. 8y to the 5th over x to the 3rd z to the 1, which is just plain old z. That's our final answer. Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this helped.